Hi, my name is Meshed from the Gazan Meshuram, and this is Spurs Video Podcast. Um, just going to talk about, obviously, you know, the Newcastle game and the upcoming Leon tie as well, and just how I think we should line up, and just some thoughts really. I'm going to give a shout out to a lot of people uh, Mel, Tommy, Jerry, uh, Eggsy, you know, Paxo, who I know is a lot being on YouTube, uh, Dom. Uh, Ivan or uh, uh, Titters, um, Craigy Boy, Andrew, Parker, um, loads of guys, and if I forgot, I'm really sorry. You know, these guys have been very generous to you know donate to the run I'm doing for a ch- uh, mine, the mental health charity up in the Royal Parks, and uh, to my f- a good, good FB friend of mine, Sensei Tim Sled, who's uh, one of the first uh, American black belts. Under un, uh, Sensei Andre Garval, he shared the link, and I appreciate that. And, you know, like I said, we've done, we're doing really, really well. I start training uh, for it tomorrow. I've done some cardio, just some things, and rehab a little bit from the injury, from the neck injury. But I'm actually going to be doing the probably about a good two hour session tomorrow. Probably, probably even try to push it two and a half hours, and really going to see how the limits of my, you know, my, you know fitness and so and say look before I need to work on. Speaking of uh, limits, has Addy Lich reached his limit? I want to think of Addy as a greedy player that doesn't give a shit about anyone. You know, I remember when, when I remember, and I, I, remember, I also remember this, is quite sad, but um, when um, Telegram had that incredible tragedy happen to them, I think it was three years ago now, and um, yeah, there was a lot a lot going on, and I remember there was a lot of jokes. And, I just, and at the time, it was, you know, he played for Man City, there were rivals, so you, you, know, you laughed along. And now I feel kind of guilty about it. And I should have for sure felt even, you know, and I felt even more guilty, I didn't feel guilty then, because, yeah, you want to paint him as this very greedy, doesn't give a shit about anyone in football, and maybe he is. I'd like to think that, you know what, if we don't get what we want, then we're, gonna, we're very quick to paint someone as this. You know, oh, he doesn't give a shit, because, you know, like, good thing, I'll watch it, you know, as soon as he gets his contract, you know, he's not going to try. I think Ali does try. I think Ali does make an effort. I think he has had the injuries, he hasn't got that rhythm going. And once he finds his rhythm, I think he'll be, you know, unstoppable. I, I honestly felt that when he was playing very well for Chelsea, uh, for um, uh, Arsenal, he, I thought, you know what, Arsenal's got their drug You know, he is, you know, strong, powerful. You know, quick, you know, quick over five, ten yards, you know, can play a bit, good feet. But now he's, I don't know, he just, it isn't there. And there are times in which, you know, I remember a time when I was, you know, from, from training in MMA and, and you were hitting the pads and everything you were doing was just spot on. You just felt very, very good. And I was like, you know, and then the next week I was just pants. I was absolute shite. And it's like, how does this, how does this happen? And I'm going to say this thing from, um, uh, Charles Sonnen and he, you know, he's, he's an MMA fighter, he's going to fight John Jones, someone I've never really respected, but he said something very interesting that, you know, failure, people are failure is not an option, of course failure is an option, failure is an option, failure is a reality, people, you live to succeed or you'll fail, so success is just a success, it, you know, you know, no, success, it's a reality, it's a reality, failure is another reality, there are two realities, success or failure, and you have to acknowledge both. And deal with the fact that sometimes you will, you will fail, and sometimes he hasn't. Yeah, let's face it, he knows he has a set of standards that he can do. I think with Holtby in the side, you know, when players. I don't think he even play. I mean, Holtby is such a good player for us. I think he'll be an excellent player for us. But you know, he's got Ozil, Muller, Cruz, uh, Royce, Goats. I mean, I mean, there are so many players he's competing with in the German side that you know he will fail. He might not always get there. I mean, one of my favourite players back in the day was Mancini. I, he, I, I used to love Mancini. I, I, I was a huge fan of that story back in the day. And Zola, when he was uh, playing for um, Palma, I was a huge fan of both guys. They didn't play enough for Italy because this was a level competition. You had, you know, you had Roberto Baggio, who was probably the world's best player at the time. So there's no, there's no shame in that. And I think there should be no shame. But you know, if he loses, let's not get on his back. Let's support the guy. I think, me personally, we should line up with Addy up front, hope he's behind. Um, not a 4 4 one, one. I don't think we've got the passing in midfield to do that. Not because we haven't got Luka Modric. I think it'll be a 4-2-3-1, as, as, as we've seen, as has been 
pretty much the way we've been going. Uh, back for I think Dawes and uh, Tillman. I think Tillman can mark C out the game. I really do. I think they'll play one up front. You know, and that's you know they haven't got the strike they used to have. You know, Gemma Bar, as good as C is, Gemma Bar was absolutely lethal for them. And I think although Soko is playing well, and again I said to, I said to, to some people, I said, you know what, at, at the price he came to Newcastle for, he looks. And I'm emphasized, looks, appears, maybe as big a bargain as me too, you know. Because again, no one really knew, people knew who he was, and he'd done well, but is he going to cut it in the Premiership? It's kind of a different beat. He's doing well so far, but, to, you know, as he found out from Louis Saha, to, you know, you know, one swallow does not a summer make. You know, and, you know, and I think, is he going to do well? Who knows? Maybe he'll, you know. I remember C City was doing fantastically for, uh, um, you know, for um, Newcastle last season. Came down to us, we smashed them five 0 I think midfield is where we can, if we, where we control the game. I think, you know, we'll, you know, we've got Soto against Parker, and Ben Bailey against Kabai. I really think if we can keep those two quiet, do they defence midfielders to work it? I don't think. Yeah, you know, I very much doubt it. Uh, obviously, Gutierrez. I think Lennon's. You know, I think. You know, he'll. You know, you'll, you'll be double teaming him. Dubuis. Uh, you know, Dubuis should protect him. They'll be double teaming him against Lennon, against Bale as well. I think Holby will be absolutely key to this because he will run into those little pockets of space, and he's got the awareness to actually utilise it. And I think the speed that we players we can have. You know, unless you, you know, unless they're going to put a fucking kicking, you know, kicking on Bale first thing. They can't stop him. If he wants to run for that ball, he'll be quicker to do it. If Lennon wants to run for that ball, he'll be quicker to do it as well. Same with Walker and same with Benny. So I do think we can win this. I think it'd be tough. I Obviously, the lack of JD, I'm a little bit worried about it, but it is one of those things. You deal with it. And, you know, yes, he's out for about sort of three weeks, possibly four, you know, but. I think it's Addy time to get his rhythm back. Do I think Addy score tomorrow? No, I think it will, I think it'll be two one. I think it'll be our midfielder that score. I think it'll, it'll be you know. I don't know. I feel I feel even wrong. But I think it will be our midfielder that make the difference. I think you know. I mean Parker. I mean it's incredible how people have been going at Parker and people get Parker the player of the season. I mean under you know I think Sandro is just because he offers so much more going forward. I think he's learned. A lot of what Parker does. I say I, the way I say the difference between Parker and Sandro was that Parker, Sandro would be the guy that puts out the fires. Parker's the guy that that basically shoots the guy with the matches. You know, and that's the way I look at it. He put out the fires and he'd be amazing. But that, you know, if anyone's on the fires, he'd be you know with his bucket, you know, with his hose, sh- you know, wipe it down. Parker just before the guy's even about to strike a match, he shoots the guy, you know, before he even thinks it. And I really think that Sandro's really added that to his game. He's got he's a lot more aware, and now he's a lot more confident, really. And you know, because he's he is in he is in the main man to let that Brazilian side out, that creative side. I mean, anyone saw him, rap, you know, doing that rap for um, ITV football? <laughs> anyone saw that? I think you know they know that this is a guy that has has a creative, you know, spark in him. He likes to be creative, and he does make some very good positions. I would like to see him get more in the box. And who knows? Come next season, we may see that. Um, I, um, I still think, obviously, we've got the Leon game next week. It's going to be interesting. I mean, here, and I will get, I will onto that. But I, but I think we can beat them. I think as good a team as Newcastle are, and you know, we've seen, uh, they got lucky against. You know, they're playing Villa, and they beat Villa. Do you know what? Everyone's beating Villa right now. Everyone is basically taking it, taking Villa to town. Yeah, I mean. They were unlucky last week, Villa to protect against Everton. I think, yeah, was, you know, they could have won that game, but towards the end they just ran out of time. You know, just they couldn't maintain that for too long. But everyone was really beating the crap out of Villa. And against Chelsea, it's interesting. I mean, for me, Cochini, I don't think she's been sent off, but that was a very dangerous play. That should have been a, in any other part of the pitch, that would have been a booking free kick. My fridge didn't seem to give it. It happens. But I think. They they are a team that can be caught. I think Debushi and I don't know who their left back is. I'm assuming what Stephen Taylor. I think our wingers, if we can get you know, those, especially Holby's got the ability to play those 
you know, he's got that one touch. Whereas Dempsey, you know, I, I like Dempsey. I really, I've been giving Dempsey a hard time, and I still give him a hard time because I think his ball control is very, very poor. I think his touch is very, very heavy. He hasn't got a very short touch. However, the whole, yeah, you know, he does get goals, and he will slog for 95 minutes, or if we're playing 30 time, 100 minutes. But um, he will, I think. There's that Van der Vaart quality, I think, the best we can put it. I think he's Van der Vaart with a bit of pace. And the reason I said my compared to Fabregas was that, you know, that lofted up and over, you know, he, he tried that against Norwich, and that was, his, that was on his debut. I think once he gets really confident, once he's playing and really understanding who his teammates are and what they can do, what they will do, you know, I think we'll see a lot better from them. And speaking of, of you know, confidence, Sigurdsson, there's a regular article in Tottenham Journal, I really recommend you reading it. Play a very short confidence. This is my approach to it, and I, I would start him in the Leon game. Uh, and the reason being is that Leon, they're not the side they were a few years ago. They're not in the you know, these, these were a Group 1 seed less than, what, three years ago? Now they're only in Europa. But they're still, I think, I think they're, they're chasing, or they're very close to chasing for PSG for the title. And let's face it, PSG. I think outside of I think they're the wealthiest club and then Man City must be the wealthiest clubs in the world and the Russian clubs. I mean they're in a completely different group now, so they're, they're doing very, very well. If he's asked them, put him in four three three, you know, Sigurdsson on one side, Dempsey in his natural position, Dempsey actually I think for Fulham played off the left wing and comes cut inside. And I think like get him doing that, supporting Harry Kane to so, look, you're not on your own, but Dempsey coming in, you've got Sigurdsson who's me, you know, Throwing in balls in the box for six foot, what, six foot, six foot one? Attack him, yeah? Chances are Clint Dempsey will get a few of those second balls. And I'd play Livermore, uh, Stud, and Carroll. I, I, wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't play Parker. I think Livermore is a player that definitely needs confidence. And I say, look, just go out there, where the ball is, just sweep it. Try and work out what danger is. Don't worry about doing what fancy passing. Just work on attacking the ball, keep getting possession back. That's all you've got to worry about. You know, and if you can do something special with it, go for it. But right now, your job right now, feed, feed Huddleston and Carroll, and, and Huddleston and um, Carrier. Yeah. yeah, and put them on either side. But you won't, you won't be in the middle there. You'll be in the trenches. And they'll be putting their foot in as well. Don't, don't, you know, don't think you'll be on your own. But you want to do a lot of leg work because, well, Huddleston ain't the quickest and Carroll ain't the biggest. So you're going to have to, you know, do your bit. Uh, back for. I will be tempted to do Dalton and Matongan and again I thought Benny and um, Carl Walker. I then you know, cause people say Benny Carl Norton. I was disappointed. I know Carl Norton and um Carl Norton, Dawson and Corker are you know, very much an English back four. And say Benny, because I think you have, you have two senior defenders and two I think junior defenders and Brad Friedel and I think that's how I'd go for it. And I'd say to all these players, you know what, and Sigurdsson, I'd, I'd be going to say, look, you know what, if I was Andrew villas Boas, I can't do the impression of Andrew villas Boas. It uh, sounds a bit like, uh, yeah, is that, uh, if I was Andrew villas Boas, I'd say uh, to Siggy, uh, that uh, this is the last uh, Europa League. No, I'm going to be in, you know, sorry, he's, he's, you know, he's got a very good English accent, as you, as you know. A London accent. Um, last year, Europa League, I'm going to be in. So I'm going to win it. And that's it. Because it's just the last one I'm ever going to be able to compete. It's the last one I'm ever competing in. Because next year, I'm taking us in the Champions League. So this is the last one I'm ever going to win. It's the last time for any of you guys to win the trophy. Because you know what? You will be playing in the Champions League next season. And if you play, paint it that way, I think we might see a better performance. Um, but yeah, I think. I think we can win both games. Obviously, we've got a West Ham game playing the BNP. That's always going to be fun, you know. Um, but hopefully, Addy, you know, even if Addy's not fully fit, I actually would even play Addy against um, Leon just to, you know, just to, you know, if you're going to play Harry Kane, just to say, do you know what? You can take him off after say 20 minutes, and that way he's got that match rhythm. So even if he doesn't play wonderfully well, which you know, I'm hoping he'll play wonderfully, it'll blast both you know, Newcastle and Leon, but. He goes in there, we go to say West Ham, he'd be like, yeah, I'm up for this. I am up, bro, yeah, I'm a dare. And they don't hate him anyway, he's ex Arsenal, they don't hate him anyway, so, you know, and so look, they're gonna, and just say, look, this is what they're saying about you, they say your mum watches elephants, all kinds of crap, that's, that's what I'll be saying to you, you know, that's why, because, let's face it, we said this shit. I mean, I'm still shocked that as Tottenham, you know, as, as Tottenham, we would do this kind of stuff. 
So um, I really think if we can get Addy fired up and get that rhythm, because I think, I don't care who you are, if you can get your rhythm going, yeah, you can be, I mean, I was, I was watching the UFC last, on some Saturday night, Saturday, I don't know, more Sunday morning, really, and one fight with Rashad, and he just looked flat. You know, Rashad, awesome fighter, he looked really flat, he just didn't have any kind of fire in his belly. If we can re light that fire in Addy's belly, shit, you know, Addy Bale, you know, will be kicking the crap out of um, you know, anyone who comes into his way. Because I, honestly, I know it's tempting to call any um, African footballer, ah, uh, the new drug brother, I genuinely thought that, and I still believe he can be as effective as Drogba was for us. As what it was for Chelsea, sorry. So I think for us, shit, what the hell was that? <laughs> against us, sorry. As, as, you, as effective as Drogba was against us. You know? And, um, yeah. So anyway, um, sorry for rambling on a bit too long. Uh, as always, please look on the ad links. Uh, if, if, if and when they appear. Thank you for the support. Um, thank you, Superspurt and Major Hank for you know, giving me some comments. I really appreciate that and your feedback. Always good to hear from you guys. And I'm going to leave a thought with you guys. The Premier League, and it's my final thought, and please, you know what, answer this you know, off the air. You know, but you know what, the Premier League, the 105 million over th- you know, three years, then the losses, and three clubs have breached that. Chelsea, Man City, and Liverpool. Do you think this acceptable loss that given that they that you know that the Premier League is given is too, is too high and it should be a lot lower. I mean, have a lot to think about it. Anyway, I hope we um, have a great game against um, Newcastle. I hope we you know, we uh, scan the barcodes a few good goals past them and yeah, as always, come on you first.